Believe it or not, you're looking at a taco. Well, actually, it's a new single lock tripod from YC Onion called Taco. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi everybody, my name is Nino from Synity. I'm here at IBC 2024 at the YC Onion booth with Sandy. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you, Nino? Good to be back with you. It's almost a tradition that we talk about new tripods, right? Here. We have new tripod every year. Exactly, and I always get hungry when I hear the names. I would like to have a taco with onions now. So, yeah, no. The new one is called Taco. And it's a quite cool new design. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, YC Onion is the traditional of YC Onion naming product. It's naming product by food. It's from the food name Taco, but we replaced the C with K. It's because uh, we are we concerned that there might be a little bit like culture inappropriate. So oh, okay. that's why we changed the yeah. Yeah, C to K. And also, uh, we because it's a very compact and fast setup tripod, uh, tripod so take and go so together taco taco I'm always a much bigger friend of actual names as products name instead of you know like RC 72 B4 uh, because people can remember yeah. and also for cameras actually but yeah so what's what's special about this one mm, well this is a, t a photo tripod uh, I have to say uh, before it's ma mainly for photographers and also for travel content creators because it's light and compact and um, before we have the Pinta Peak tripod which is a much bigger and more for heavy duty tripod it's also a fast setup tripod one step high adjustment and um, now we make the same fast design to a much more smaller tripod. So, because in the past, many people are requesting, oh, hey, um, Panda P is too big, too heavy. Can you make it smaller to be put into uh, the backpack? So that's what we do. But a similar operation, but like different design, different structure, but still very fast setup. One way single lock mechanism. And yeah, so, uh, so we have a different, like a similar locking system, but it looks different. You actually twist it to the side here. Yeah. 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 So uh, because it's very compact, you can uh, it when it folded, the size is uh, around 67 centimeter long, can be put into the backpack. And when you uh, fresh, like you when you took it out from the backpack, you just extend the legs uh, without unlock the lock. So there's nothing to do with the locks on top. Even if it's unlocked, you can pull out the leg directly to be to save time, to be like fast deployment. And So you basically take it out and pull the legs out even though the lock is tightened? Yeah. For extending it, it also works when it's locked. Yes, correct. And this, this is also what we call the one-way locking mechanism. Uh, so extends, you can do it freely. But if you want to adjust the height, uh, like you, if you want to adjust micro, uh, do micro adjustment to level the tripod, just unlock the top locks. And then you can lower down, lower a little bit down. But if you feel like, oh, um, I lowered too much, you can just simply step on the feet and put it back up and then to lock the lock. So every operation is on top. So your hand always stay on the top of the tripod and very near close to the camera and your uh, focus are always on top of the camera. Uh, no need to bend down. So it's all about fast, all about safety, secure um, operation. Very cool. So actually a miniaturized version in a way of, of um, the Pinta Peak, right? Like which is mainly made for videographers. Yes, yes. Uh, similar operation, but inside the structure is completely different. And also uh, there's some, one thing I want to mention about is that because we do not have lock on the joint, the leg joints. So compared to those traditional monopod, uh, where they have lock for each joint, uh, because we do not have lock there, it's all sealed. So it's very sand proof and dust proof. So you don't need maintenance. You don't need to 
adjust the tension uh, from time to time, or you don't need to worry about getting sand inside or getting dust inside. So it's very uh, maintenance free. Like I like I like you sound very confident about your product. That also gives me confidence <laughs> because it seems like you really tested this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and also, also um, it has the same stability as the traditional monopod, where they have joints for each each section. The traditional tripod, you mean? Yeah. yeah the yeah. Tr traditional tripod. They have. They are very stable. Mm -hmm. That's the one of the advantage for the traditional tripod. Mm -hmm. The same as this one, even if there's just one lock, also it's very stable. How high and how low can it go? The lowest height, you can actually remove the central column and get super low on near the ground, uh, around 17 centimeter. And then uh, the highest with the central column is uh, 177 centimeter high. Yeah. So this extends probably to like 150 or something and the rest is the center column. Yes, yes. And um, so somebody might, uh, someone might feel like it's very troublesome when you uh, took it out from the back and you need to pull out the legs. Each leg is very uh, troublesome. But uh, what we suggest to do is that uh, you pull out all the legs at, all at once, put it out to the maximum, and then you adjust the height of the central column. Then you reduce it. Yeah, yeah then it will be very easy to... Yeah, like making some mi micro adjustment, it will be very easy. Okay, great. Uh, I also see a couple of uh, mounting points here. Uh, yes, uh, we have a, um, a quarter 20 hole here to uh, for extra extension for like, for example, like magic arms. Yeah. Um, and also there's a leveling, uh, leveling here. Yep, and bubble level as well and uh, three angle for the legs as well and yeah and also it comes with a head so there are two version one version is uh, for a photo tripod for photographers uh, it's with this type of uh, ball head and the other version is for videographers a video tripod with a fluid head oh so you do have a video version of this Yes, uh, the final version of the bow head might not be this one, but there will be two versions, one for photo, one for video. But mainly we try to focus on, uh, this tripod is mainly for photographers. Yeah. Yeah, for, like, so we actually see the video head here in the back, I, I realized. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, you don't, I mean, having a bowl is of course nice, but uh, for a tripod this small, it would add extra bulk. So I guess just opening all three legs will also allow you to balance it, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Great. Uh, what's the maximum payload of the tripod? Uh, the maximum payload is uh, eight kilogram uh, because it's a lightweight travel photo tripod. So it's ma mainly for photographers or beginners or... It's a lot of weight though for something like this. I think I, I don't think you would put more than eight kilograms on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very cool. Um, pricing and availability? Well, it will be available uh, hopefully by the end of this year, like uh, maybe around November, December. And for pricing, we haven't set a price yet, probably around 300 US dollar. Yeah. But it's all carbon fiber, right? It's all carbon fiber, yes, carbon fiber. That's a good price. Thank you, Sandy. Anything we forgot? Uh, well. Anything you want to add? That I think that's all. And. Um, because in the past we make uh, tripod with videographers like heavy duty. Now we have one for photographers. Also can do fast setup, uh, fast de deployment, deployment, and um, yeah. So we just wanted to make fast, easy setup equipment for both videographers and photographers. Yeah, I think I, I just love that it's finally becoming normal to have these quick release on all the tripods because we all use so many tripods which sometimes are very light and small but very often they have up to three joints that you need to open separately on each leg and it literally takes a very long time right i mean this does save a lot of time especially for fast deployment and we constantly i mean for every single shot you need to reposition the tripod essentially so 
you know, if you sum it up, this will save a lot of time over the day. So I'm thankful that you also think of people who want to work with a very small setup, uh, because that's the first kind of tripod I have seen that is actually made for for kind of a very light, small setup and very secure. and very secure. And everything is going more towards smaller cameras. Even the cinema cameras are becoming smaller. So I think it's it's a very good idea. Yeah. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. And have a good rest of the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinedy for a lot more from IBC 2024. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Thank you.